Oh yeah. Last week I joined Slimming World with my sister. So went to hers on the Sunday and she's got one of these tea fowl air fry chip maker things. So she showed me how it worked. So that was on the Sunday. So Monday morning I've gone online and ordered myself one from Argus and I've gone and picked it up and it's now Sunday and I still haven't used it and it's in the box. So I'm going to open it up and give it a go. So I'll turn this round and show you. So here it is. T-Fowl Aptify Fry. I think it was £125. So I'm going to open it up. I've got some obviously potatoes. The only thing I've realised is because I'm not a I don't do cooking really from convenience food. I haven't got a chopping board. So I'm gonna have to chop all them bits and bobs. Bits and bobs. I'm gonna have to chop the chips. I'm gonna have got me air fryer. Oh no. Yeah, I've got me. Me light fry. And I, I've got some chip, uh, chip, uh, what do you call them? I forgot what they're called. You know, chippy, I'll show you the bit. Hang on. This chip seasoning. So this is what I've got. I couldn't remember the bloody name of it. So I've got that. Got me fry lice. Got my chip maker thingy. And I've got some potatoes. So I've got Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers on the telly. So let's do this. Okay. <laughs> See you in a bit. Well, I've cut them all up. I'll give them a good rinse. I don't know if that one's a bit too thin or what. I don't know. So they've had a good rinse. I'm going to give them one more rinse and then I'm going to get some more kitchen towel. Apparently that's proper thin. <laughs> okay. I don't know if that, what that's going to turn out like, but that's that's not weird. So stop me and then and you get that one's chunky. So I don't know what they're going to turn out like. I've still got to open the box. But can you buy chips? Potatoes already cut up that you can do because look at that all wet there. I know this is going to sound proper lazy, but it's took me ages to do these. I'm just thinking when I come home from work, if these turn out all right and I like them, when I come home from work, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't going to be bothered to cut potatoes. <laughs> do, I am that lazy. Sorry, I well, know I am proper about idle. So does anybody know? Can you like say if these turn out nice? I'll do them again, but I just want to know. I know obviously you can buy oven chips because that's what we eat here, but can you buy potatoes already cut, ready to be fried? I don't know. I'm going to have to go up a Google search it or somebody can comment and let me know. That would be great. So, next job is open the fryer. Or, what do you call it? Air fryer. Either active fryer even. Okay, thank you. So this is it now, it's out of the box, you get one of these things, uh, booklet, um, a recipe book, I'm going to have to look through. It says, uh, just one spoon of oil for crispy and tasty chips and much more. Okay, so it's got some controls there. To be honest, I think I'm up by my sister and ask her what to do because I'm crap with instructions. So, how do you open it? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so I'm trying to, you press that there, that opens. And then, that comes, so I know that obviously that's where you put your chips and whatever. Yeah. So, I think I might have to give this a rinse out, I'm not 100% sure, but. Alright, so I've got to rinse the chips, rinse them and dry them. So I'll be back in a bit. I've done my chips, got me the uh, fry light thing ready. So focus, focus, focus. I've tried to read the instructions. See there, pretty decent size writing. And then, I'm not being funny, but look at how small this writing is. Oh, it actually looks better from here, to be fair. Got my glasses on and I'm really struggling to read. But it, it's actually I can see better through my camera actually. So there's a little tip. Uh, okay, so 
So open it up. How do I open it? Hang on. I'll open it. I'll shove some chips in. That one's just gone. I need to put in. Looking forward to the chips. Yeah, it's quite different, isn't it? Oh, well, I think it's <laughs> a proper love chips, that. I mean, I always taste what I want. So, I'm good to go, I think, now. Let's have a good spray. I don't know how many of these I've got to spray, but I'll just keep trying till it looks about right. I'm trying to remember what I said my sister do, and that looks about right. And then, this, oosh, that might be a bit too much, I don't know. Yes, there we go. Good eyes. Oh, so I've gone from one extreme to the other. Right, so close it. Uh, where did I say? It's in chips. I've got me now. Got me now. Bloody knife. 28 to 30 minutes. So switch it on. Oh, I'm gone. So it's making a noise. Every time now. I just set this in. Oh, it's with the moving round. Moving. Uh, I don't know how you set the timer. Oh, I'll leave that. I'll leave it. <laughs> I don't know, sorry. I'll just look at the clock. What time is it? It is 3... It's like 3.40. So, let's have a go. I'm turning round and it's making a noise. So, let's watch it. Can I just say that if you are watching this to get any tips on how to use a T-Fowl Actifry original or any Slimming Well tips, you're at the wrong channel because I'm not a cook, I, I just can't cook to save my life. I can't even remember the last time I peeled anything, let alone a potato. It took me ages to peel then. I broke my nail, took a chunk out of my nail, so I'm going to have to uh, cut them down. So the ages to dry them. I'm just like, this is, seems like a lot of hard work. <laughs> I'm just so used to oven chips. Get them out of the freezer in the oven, go for your shower, come down, chips done. It's busy. But I'm trying to lose some weight. I want to drop at least the dress size. Two dress sizes will be wonderful, but I'm living in the real world. <laughs> So as I went to my sister, she had one of these because we both all slimming well and they were lovely. My husband's been taking the piss the fact that he, he finds it quite funny that I'm actually going to peel a potato. He thinks this thing's going to end up with my other pile of stuff that I bought that um, I've never used. Which to be fair, he's got a point but that has all been keep bit stuff, treadmill, cross trainer, sit up benches which are all in the shed and they love it there. They're great, they're all together now, so but this I just thought I really, I really want to lose weight and like I said I tried the Weight Watchers, could not get on with Weight Watchers. Years ago I tried it. Sorry if it's yeah, I've got the thing on, that's why you can hear it in the background. Weight Watchers years ago I tried it, got on well. Really well actually, dropped a couple of dress sizes. But when we joined again, can you see that rubbish there? See there? That's a rubbish that's supposed to go in the recycling bin, but apparently that's where it sits until I take it in the recycling bin. But that's another story. We won't go there. <laughs> yeah, Weight Watchers, they, we joined um, a couple of months ago. They completely changed the points. I just don't, we just couldn't get on with the points, to be honest. It was like I was starving. So we had to go to Slimming World. And I know Slimming World is more cooking, which me and cooking but I'm determined to give it a go so that's why I'm trying these chips my son who's been going on about one in them all week has now buggered off out with his mates so I don't know whether I'm going to do his later when he comes in or whether I can warm them up in the microwave we will see so they're in there now it's only been five minutes I'm going to check on them in a bit so like I said if you want to learn anything you ain't gonna learn it from me, I'm afraid. <laughs> I need tips from you lot. Tell me when I'm going wrong. <laughs> Alright, bye. So it's been 10 minutes. I'm gonna open it and it, I know the loads of steam's gonna come out, so I'm gonna press the button and back away. Hang on. Yep. Oh, okay. Ooh. Really cool. Alright. 
token. I still feel a bit hard. I've only been in 10 minutes, I suppose I worked. I think, I don't know, I just spray some more, um, oh, sugar. Mm. I'll spray some more on. I don't know if that's supposed to, but, hmm. Spray some more on. Okay. Oh, that is warm. Whoa, yeah. Okay. Maybe another 10 minutes. Have a cup of tea, I think. Here they are, finished. A little bit overdone, but we're asking them to do a taste test. So they're all done, and Liam's about to do the taste test, so. First taste test of burn chips. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all horrible. It tastes different. Never tasted chips like this before. It tastes the whole food. So it's fluffy inside. <laughs> Would have them again, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that all blown thumbs up? So they're better than oven chips. Yeah, and try some more, yeah. Maybe you need some more vinegar on. All right. Put some beans on that, make it better. Disguise the taste. Yeah. <laughs> the taste okay? All right. Like, yeah, so yeah, you have yeah. them again? Yeah. Okay, okay. Thumbs up. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. This is what I'm going to have, so I've got my chips, my beans, two poached eggs, which I've got to be honest, it, this doesn't look very appetising at all, but I was like, I've got to put my salt and vinegar on and some tomato ketchup, which I'm going to have to see what the sins are on that, so in theory, if I've understood this slimmy well right, this is, <coughs> excuse me, a slim free dinner. So that can't be bad. So, okay. I'm off to eat this now. Thank you all for watching. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. Bye.